Okay, make sure you're sitting down. We're going to talk about safety culture. Culture? <gasps> Don't panic. Culture is all around us. We're swimming in it. It's true. Every human group develops its own culture. As time goes on, the group finds its own way of doing things. Like this. Of thinking, you see? Improves risk management, understands failures, builds on successes, makes choices, innovates, and develops an organization. Got it? This is how the group builds its own practices and knowledge. A cultural fabric that adapts to different environments, as well as historical, political, and social contexts. In short, the group develops its culture through shared behaviors and attitudes. And you want to know what does this have to do with companies? Instead of culture, don't they focus on productivity, labor relations, and profitability? Of course! Companies have to face these issues to survive, and safety is part of the equation. To overcome these challenges, you have to work together. You need shared attitudes and ways of doing things. A culture. An organizational culture. Here it is. And what role does safety play in all this? It's a key issue. First of all, it's necessary to identify the most important risks and agree on what we mean by most important. What are the possible causes of a serious accident likely to result in injuries, damage to assets, or harm to the environment? Setting safety levels means establishing how things should be done, the right attitude. In other words, Having a safety culture. Well, that's it. It helps you address the most important risks by linking technical factors, rules, and procedures with the know-how of staff. Culture, organization, safety. These three concepts are closely linked and contribute to a firm's overall performance. In fact, Developing a corporate safety culture is fundamental to the organization. It concerns its working conditions, quality, and dialogue, which in turn influence safety culture. It's a virtuous circle that gradually builds a shared culture. It's true, you can't prescribe a culture. You have to build it.